This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. I'm not one to shy away from being a, a complainer about things. Raising the alarm, sounding the alarm. This is the alarm bell. Ding, ding, ding. Um, I, I'm, I'm not shy about being critical when things aren't being done correctly in my view. And I have been very critical about the sentences that have been handed down, the light sentences being handed down to the insurrectionists who attempted to overturn a free and fair election here in America who were threatening the life of the sitting vice president and the speaker of the House of Representatives. Hang Mike Pence, they chanted, while a hangman's gallow sat on the lawn just hundreds of feet from where they stood. And sentences from probation, misdemeanor charges have been handed down, time served, some nonsense, but... We're finally starting to see some sentences with a little bit of teeth. I'm going to read from this Reuters article. U.S. prosecutors seek longest prison sentences yet for capital rioters. U.S. prosecutors are seeking the stiffest punishments yet for participants in the deadly January 6th attack on the Capitol, urging judges to make an example out of a man filmed punching a police officer and another who stormed the Senate chamber wearing horned headdress. At a court hearing on Wednesday, a government lawyer will ask a judge, that's today, this is happening today. At a court hearing on Wednesday, government lawyers will ask a judge to hand down a 44-month prison sentence for Scott Fairlamb a former MMA fighter from New Jersey who pleaded guilty in August to assaulting a police officer. This is, again, remember, the law and order. Blue Lives Matter, back the blue crowd, who stormed and attacked and assaulted uniformed police officers. He was captured screaming at officers by their body-worn cameras before shoving one and then punching him in the face. He is to be sentenced by U.S. District Judge Royce Lambert in Washington at 11 a.m. Eastern today. We will see. Maybe I'll be back here tomorrow praising the sentencing. Maybe not. Separately, prosecutors in a late-night court filing recommended a four-year, three-month sentence for Jacob Chansley, the participant in the January 6th riots nicknamed the QAnon shaman. Remember, the whiny little child who, I need organic food in jail. Jail doesn't agree with me. It's scary in there. I should be at home. Chansley, the, the grown man who lives with his mom. Lamberth, who is also handling Chansley's case, will sentence him on November 17th. In a court filing, Fairlam's defense lawyer asked the judge to, quote, Take into consideration the approximate 11 months the defendant has already served in custody and not add additional time. He's asking for time served. 11 months. For an attempted overthrow of the United States government and, as the cherry on top, assaulting police officers who are doing their duty to guard the United States Capitol building, the temple of our democracy, and its occupants. Yeah. Time served seems super appropriate. Dipshit. Attorney Harley Bright said his client had accepted responsibility for his actions, adding that Fairlam is interested in proving to himself, his family, and his friends that he is no longer in any part the person seen in those troubling videos. So 11 months in jail changed your entire outlook on politics, huh? Right. Chansley's attorney, Albert Watkins, said in a Tuesday court filing that Chansley should be released, quote, as soon as possible, noting that Chansley will have spent more than 10 months in pretrial detention. From the lawyer, I can say with confidence that Mr. Chansley is in dire need of mental health treatment, Watkins said in the filing, adding that further time behind bars jeopardizes his mental stability. Listen, if he indeed does need mental health treatment, that is fantastic. I'm glad that he is uh, coming to terms with wh wh whatever problem. We don't want to stigmatize mental health issues at all. 
But that could be accomplished in jail. You could see a therapist in jail. You could see a psychiatrist in jail. If you were in need of, of, of um, mood stabilizing drugs or some kind of a, of a pharmaceutical solution to your mental health issues, Mr. QAnon shaman, that can happen while you're incarcerated. There's nothing precluding you from seeking mental health treatment, just like if you got an illness in jail, it could be treated while in jail. About 700 people have been charged with joining the Capitol riot when supporters of former Republican, ex-Republican President Donald Trump fought with police, smashed windows, and charged through the building in an attempt to overturn his election defeat. So far, about 120 people have pleaded guilty and two dozens have been sentenced. And then here it is. Most of the guilty pleas have involved nonviolent misdemeanor offenses carrying short jail sentences or probationary sentences. Probation for attempting to overthrow the government. White people got it good, don't they? Don't we? Probation for attempting to subvert our democracy, attacking Congress. Disgusting. What do you think, though? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, everywhere. I'm at Dollamore. And if I bring you some value, a little information, maybe a smile once in a while, today was a little more on the serious side of things. Please consider supporting my work for as little as a dollar 99 a month. You can become a channel member here on YouTube. Uh, click the join button, see what's involved, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you for engaging with my content today and as often as you do. If you're new here, uh, click the subscribe button. Sometimes it's a good time. Other times it's just an okay time. Anyway, I'll see you next time. I love you guys. Be genuine. Take care of one another.